Hey there folks, today we're gonna to talk about the Feewood Gear Patrol Bag. This guy right here, let's get into it. All right, so when you get one of these, it's gonna come pretty much exactly like this. This is just the empty patrol bag, but you also have some inserts that we're gonna talk about in a little bit. Uh, you get two of these small inserts and one of the larger inserts, all right? You also get a nice carry handle. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of this bag, and then we're actually gonna bring it out and put it in the car and let you see what it looks like. All right, features of the bag. We have buckles and zippers and things everywhere. So let's just open this up. Actually, let's start on the outside and let's look on the inside. We got Velcro panels for patches or name plates. Our two big main buckles here that keep everything closed up. On the right side of the bag, we have Molly gear. So this webbing right here that you could attach pouches, holsters, um, accessories, whatever Molly gear you have that you want to attach to here. You have that on the side. On the very back, you kind of have this hidden large pouch. Uh, you could easily put documentation down in there, um, paperwork, stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about. On the other side, exactly like both sides, you have Molly gear on this side as well. You also see we have these two loops or these attachment points. That is for our shoulder strap which we'll talk about in just a second. Also on the very top of the bag, we have carry handles and a nice little nameplate um, clear plastic portion here that you can go ahead and stick your, your nameplate um, or identification inside of this top portion here. That's the outside of the bag. Let's go ahead and look on the inside. Let's go ahead and open up these buckles, pop this guy open. And as you can see straight up from the top portion here, you have a bunch of different capabilities here. You have Velcro, as well as molly webbing, all right? And then up on top, you have two, it's not one big pouch, it's two mesh pouches. So it's see-through so that you can see exactly what you have going on in here, what you have stored in here, whether again, that be keys or wallet, documentation, business cards, whatever that might be, you have these up here available to be able to see through um, and see exactly what you got. That's this top portion here. Let's go ahead and open up even further. We have these zippers. Nice heavy duty zippers that this guy folds all the way down and that exposes this large open cavity right here. We'll talk about making this a little bit smaller in just a second. But this large open cavity here and on the front, again, this is all Velcro, right? With Molly attachments on the front. Um, over in here, this is more of admin kind of stuff where you have uh, little slots for pencils, uh, larger slots maybe for a multi-tool or different tools, different accessories, different things that you might need, um, plenty of places to store your gear. As well as the front, you have another one of these zippered mesh pouches that you can see, you can see through it and put whatever gear you want to put in there. All right, on the inside, inside of the main compartment, this is all on the walls, this is all Velcro, right? Uh, this is the soft side of the Velcro, it's nice and soft, so you can put, again, attachments, patches, different things you might wanna put in here. As well, as we'll talk about in a second, are dividers. Um, the bottom is kind of semi-hard, right? It's a little bit flexible, but it's hard enough to keep the shape, keep everything, um, keep the bag basically nice and square. You can pull it up a little bit uh, with the Velcro attachments, to kind of clean and, and do stuff down there to keep the bag nice and nice and organized, nice and clean. All right, talking about these dividers. We said we had two dividers. These are two small dividers and a large divider. You take the large divider, it is Velcro on both sides, and then it has the hook side over here on this part of the Velcro. So if you take this and you place it down on the inside of the bag, somewhere is about like in the middle. What that allows you to do is to create two main storage compartments. You have one here and one here. And this again is a semi-hard material. Um, so it's gonna keep everything rigid, keep the bag from collapsing in on itself. These little portions here, these are softer, these are not hard material, but you can use these to individually create even smaller sections inside of those larger sections. So you have one large compartment, a medium compartment, and a small compartment. You have another one of these to make a divider somewhere else if you wanted to, or again, in the front. And in this instance, you can see we have three smaller pouches and one big main pouch in the back. All right, that's some of the main features of this bag. Let's go ahead and put this in a car and a vehicle and let's look at it in action. All right, so as you can see here, we have this guy installed in the vehicle now. This top portion here loops around the head seat and it's nice and secure. Uh, we have our accessory pouches and things, just admin pouches. Uh, we got some hand sanitizer stuff. I got my business cards over here all the accessories and things that I might need while I'm driving in the car. Um, I have my laptop for when I need to do my work. 
uh, my notebook for when I need to do, again, take notes and whatnot, um, headphones, flashlights, all the essential gear that I might need easily accessible to me, I have it right here in the seat. It's nice and strapped in. The bag's not going to go flying on the floor whenever I'm going down the road. It's going to be nice and easy and organized instead of stuff scattered all over my car. All right, another nice thing about this unit is it's easily zipped up, closed up, and ready to go with me when I'm ready to go. So there you have it, folks. That's the patrol bag by Feetwood Gear.